All right. So, for those who don't know, I am a native born Arizona and born and raised here in the Valley of the Sun. So, we posted this question on our Facebook page at 963 Real Country. I thought it'd be fun. Tell me you grew up in Arizona without telling me you grew up in Arizona. You guys actually came up with some answers I completely forgot about. Here we go. Tell me you grew up in Arizona without telling me you grew up in Arizona. Never been to the Grand Canyon. What is wrong with you? I know several natives like myself that have never been to the Grand Canyon. Not on purpose. Just never went. Tell me you grew up in Arizona without telling me you grew up in Arizona. I know how to pronounce saguaro. (laughs) <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, tell me you grew up in Arizona without telling me you grew up in Arizona. I forgot about this one. Roadrunner hockey. I forgot about Roadrunner hockey. Here's another one. Salt River tubing when you had to take your own tubes. I'm Gen X. I think I was part of the last bastion that you had to bring your own tubes out there. Tell me you grew up in Arizona without telling me you grew up in Arizona. My first baseball game I ever went to was a Phoenix Firebirds baseball game. Yeah, buddy! Totally. I, I still have the mug from all those years ago. I was probably like 10 or 11 or when I, when I went to that game. Uh, tell me you grew up in Arizona without telling me, telling me you grew up in Arizona. Legend City, baby. Remember Legend City? In its competition on the west side, Castles and Coasters, which used to be called Golf and Stuff. I'm dating myself with this. Tell me you grew up in Arizona without telling me you grew up in Arizona. I got a Ladmo bag. I envy you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. And finally, tell me you grew up in Arizona without telling me you grew up in Arizona. It may be spelled Prescott, but we pronounce it Prescott. Yep. Absolutely. It is Prescott, and it will always be Prescott. There's Clint Black on 96.3 Real Country. It's AJ. We're going to get to your trending hashtag. And I knew, I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt, once we posted today's uh, trending hashtag on social media, that the 96.3 Real Country audience would not disappoint. Hashtag things you don't say to in-laws. Here we go. Hashtag things you don't say to in-laws. You've cost my husband so much money in therapy. Emotional damage. Yikes. All right, here we go. Hashtag things you don't say to in-laws. I cook better than you. Would you like some aloe vera? You just got burned. (laughs) Oh, leave it to Sheldon Cooper there. And finally, (laughs) here we go. Hashtag things you don't say to in-laws. And you can also leave your suggestion on our Facebook page at 963 Real Country. Hashtag things you don't say to in-laws. Come back anytime. (laughs) There's Eddie Rabbit, 96.3 Real Country. It's AJ on this Wednesday night, and I had to get right into it. So I saw this question trending around. We posted it on our Facebook page, at 96.3 Real Country. And of course, leave it to the 96.3 Real Country audience to never disappoint with your answers. Question of the night. What is an odd way to say I love you? What is an odd way to say I love you? (laughs) Elizabeth says olive juice. Get it? Because it sounds like I love you. Olive juice. That was was clever, Elizabeth. What is an odd way to say I love you? Bree says ditto. That uh, reminds me of my ex. Anyway, what is an odd way to say I love you? Dustin says, get out. You know, now that I think about it, I've heard my mom say get out to my father many a time. What is wrong with you? I don't, I, I don't know.